welcome back. Uh, one quick thing. I'm going to update, make my to-do list here in my Archer and Olive dot grid blackout notebook. Also, I had received some requests for making my own lettering. How do, how do I say that? I had a couple people ask if I would make stickers out of my writing, which was a huge, like, what? Me? I don't consider my writing to be anything crazy or, I mean, I have people that I follow because their lettering is freaking awesome. I know you guys follow that person too. So when I was asked, I was like, sure, wink, wink. Well, then I got asked the other day, hey, when are you going to do that? And I thought, okay, so this is a thing. Somebody, a couple people would really like this. So I got on Amazon and I purchased a digital tablet and a digital pen. It's actually charging right now. It's pretty good size. Um, and maybe once I get it up and going, I will do like a overview and a review of the product itself. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm not gonna go crazy and open an Etsy shop or you know do a website or anything like that. I think what I'm gonna do with it, I will send them out once a month to my Patreons. Just, you know, and then if you guys decide to use it, you can totally use it in your planners or your journals or, and we'll go from there. If, you know, if you guys want custom things done, we'll go from there. But I don't want to, I don't want to start off with, holy cow, I've got this new commitment where I am an Etsy store owner. Cause that is just, it doesn't interest me to be an Etsy store owner at this point just because I have a full-time job that I do and then I work for, I, well, I don't really work for Wes. That's, that's probably not a fair statement. But I do a lot of things behind the scenes for his podcast and then of course I love this. I would, I would never want to quit this uh, doing videos for you guys. But realist, realistically, good lord. <laughs> realistically I you know I would like to try lettering I'm not that good at it in my opinion but I feel like you guys see something that I don't and I think that is really cool so thank you and we'll see where it takes us it may take us to the point where I do have you know a little bit more freedom with lettering than I do with other things we'll see uh, did everybody get their Olive and Archer? No, Archer and Olive. You guys, I get to talking and I forget. It's alphabetical order. Archer and Olive, right? I'm going to have to like write it down somewhere so that I don't keep saying it wrong because they're an amazingly wonderful company and I keep butchering their, their name. So I need to work on that. Anyway, did you guys get one of these? If you haven't, go check out their website. Yes, they're a little spendy for a notebook. I 100% agree. It took me a long time to commit to purchasing one, but I will tell you, if you've watched reviews of bullet journals and you've watched reviews of dot grids, these are gorgeously made. Like the stitching goes to the top. You don't have to worry about it folding down. The pages are 160 GSM. You can use watercolor in here, you can use oil paints, you can use oil pens, paint pens, markers, sharpies, oil-based, I have a couple oil-based pens. The jelly rolls work amazing. Um, I'm really, really enjoying this notebook. I have a link down below, it's not an affiliate link, I don't get anything back from it, it's just for convenience for you guys to go down in the description, you can click on it and go check out all of her stuff. Or all of their stuff it's two two ladies and decide if it's something that you want to use I love this for my daily checklist which sometimes I have this much sometimes I have a whole page and other times I have like four things that I need to do today we're gonna see where it goes because I just need to start making my list so today I know I need to record plan with me for next week. I'm trying to do really good and like plan a week ahead. So you guys have an idea of layouts a week ahead of time. Before I was like doing this week 
on Monday and then trying to get them up by Wednesday and it just it it didn't make any sense to me after watching YouTube channels I was like oh you guys want to see that before which makes sense because I'd want to see it before the week I mean hello that whole learning curve good grief April um let's see so I want to record that I also want to oh record this one and let's do let's call this the A and O so that I remember that it's Archer and Olive I don't know. I'm loving this blue. This is really pretty. This is the Moonlight Collection, and this is the Metallic Collection in Ya Jelly Rolls. Is today Wednesday? It is. Okay, so Wednesday we meal plan. And I think after I meal plan, I'll just place my order online for groceries. It's just easier that way. In fact, what I will probably do is I will decorate this page for my grocery list. We can do that really quick. Let's do, I like how the pinks look, but I think, let's do orange. I don't think I've used the oranges yet. Have I? Maybe. I don't know. Let's do... If you can hear that little tussle in the background, that would be Pepper. She is under my desk, having a heyday with Stark. Uh, the kittens are six weeks old. They are full of piss and vinegar, not kidding at all. They are tyrants right now, and I love it. They're freaking hilarious. Everywhere they go, they ensue chaos, or chaos ensues, one of the two. Um, they're they're hilarious I'm not gonna lie I love having them both Wes and I are like laughing every night at different things that they do easy peasy flowers oh, gotta remember to store my gels right side up so they don't dry out perfect just something fun right we don't want a boring grocery list. We want something fun. Eventually, I would love to learn how to do like gorgeous shading. If you guys have been on the Archer and Olive website, they have some of the most gorgeous drawings that they do with the jelly pens. They're beautiful. So beautiful. So I'm going to leave that for the grocery list. I don't know what I'm going to do for meal planning this week. I haven't even been on Pinterest. So when I do decide to do that, I also post it over on um, Patreon so that you can have a sneak peek on what we're going to be eating next week if you want some inspiration for your meals as well. I need to do, I need to make Wes an appointment for the doctor because I think he has more than allergies. I think he's got maybe a sinus infection. He's saying that it's just allergies, but I don't I don't think it is. I need to write in cerulean. I need to get that book done. I've been working on it for so long, you guys. Oh, uh, yesterday I did not, so today I need to write it down. I need to send out Patreon mail because I got some new mailing envelopes. I am so sorry, you guys. I am behind the eight ball on this one. Let me grab it. I have, doo -doo -doo -doo. I should have been a little more prepared. So there's one of you waiting for your book, your signed book. I will, oh look, that's me. <laughs> I am getting that out today. I had to get new padded envelopes because I didn't want to ship it in a regular envelope because I am really weird about getting a book in good condition, excellent condition. So I have signed your book. It's ready to go. I just need to put it in the envelope and get it addressed and out today. And that'll be done. So Patreon mail. done well it's not it will be done and then I need to now that I have these guys empty the litter box and I know I shouldn't have to write myself a note but it's new and 
I told Wes that if he's good with me getting cats, then I would take care of the mess. So I don't know how often I'm supposed to empty the litter box. I don't want to smell it. So I'm doing twice a day. I'm doing once in the morning and once in the evening because there's two of them. And it's not bad right now, but I imagine when they get older, it's going to be, you know, a little worse as far as quantity. Right now it's super easy. I mean, they're, they're saints, so it's, it's not hard at all. All right, so I think this is all I've got for today. I really like how the groceries turned out, and yeah, I do. I don't want to draw my white line yet to end the day, just in case there's something else that comes up. I don't want to like risk it. How am I doing on lettering challenge this month? What is today? The 19th? Oh, oh yikes. Okay, well, let's pop in there. What is the 14th? Where is, there it is. Okay, so the 14th is going to be breast implants. Perfect. I'm not gonna ask, that's totally, I don't have them. I don't know that I would ever want them either, only because that kind of surgery scares me. And by scary, I mean, I just, I fear that something would go wrong. Does that make sense? I know that sounds really, really ridiculous, but that's how my brain works. Oh, that one got a little, that one got away from me. Hey kitties. I have a feeling this one is going to be, let's see, how did I do that last time so that it worked? All right, I'm not too ha happy with that. That's not too bad. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. That I'm not okay with. That looks a little kitty wampus. Switching up gears because I don't believe I have enough room to write implants. And really, breast is the one I wanted big anyway, right? Da, 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 da. I'm kind of breaking color rules right now and just going with whatever I want. All right, the 15th is going to be acrylic nails. Those I have had before. I love them because my nail polish actually adheres and stays on for more than a week. Uh, if I just do natural nail polish on my natural nails, it's like two hours and they start chipping. The color street that I get from a gal that I work with has been holding on quite well. I think this is a week old and it's just starting to chip, which is fine. I don't mind, it's just when it starts to like flake off completely, not a fan. Okay, so the 16th is piercings. I have had piercings before. Um, P-E-I, oh, I before E. I wouldn't second guess myself if I wasn't doing this on camera. Not horrible. Oh, I have a kitten climbing up my leg. Pepper or Stark. Stark, quit climbing up my leg, you turkey bird. That hurts. That hurts my leg. Um, anyway, I had my nose pierced at one point and I had my eyebrow pierced. So I was quite the, quite the gal with piercings. That was in my younger days. If I could go back and have my nose pierced again, I definitely would. I liked that. Oh, Pepper, you guys are getting crazy. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not sure what's happening. They're, they're out of control this morning. See, nothing too fun. Just, just lettering, just lettering. Steve's outside this morning chasing the loggers as he usually does in the morning. So nothing's changed on that front and Sweetie, can I see what's on the 17th? Thank you. 17th is fake tan. Gotta love a good fake tan. Freak. Gotta love a good purple. Look at this. What is this one in? This is just the plain jelly roll. This is pretty. Very, very pretty. 
What was I saying? Oh, piercings. Yeah. Uh, eyebrow and nose. I would do the nose again. I really like that look. There's our fake tan. Bum, bum, bum. Stark's just cruising around on the desk this morning. He's like, here I am. I'm all up in this business. I don't even care. 18th. Teeth whitening. Oh, that's going to be a long one. I feel like I've got to keep these tucked so that we don't get a hold of them. And by we, I mean this little guy who's off camera. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? Hi, can you come closer? Come here. Hi. Hi, little guy. See how tiny? They're just a tiny. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. You're such a sweet boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right. What was our word again? You're getting that. I'm so sidetracked. Hello. Did you want down? Did you want down? Hmm? Go play with your sister. Where'd your sister go? Find your sister. Oh, teeth whitening, I swear. So as soon as I put him down on the floor, he's wrapped himself, ouch, around my ankle, and he's biting me. Because that's what cats do when they love you. They abuse you. Now he's now he's licking my leg. I'm like, sorry about that. I know that hurt. Colored contacts. Okay. My eyes are naturally really light greenish grayish blue. Depends on what I'm wearing and if I've been crying. If I've been crying, they are like alien bright green. Needless to say, I have always, always, always wanted dark brown eyes and not necessarily dark brown. I want black. Like I don't want you to be able to tell a difference between my pupil and my irises. I want the darkest, darkest eyes, right? So in my younger years, I ordered a non-prescription pair of contact lenses that were colored and I tried to get them in the darkest color and they still, it didn't, it made my eyes almost look like, gosh, uh, like a putrid baby poop brownish greenish. It was really attractive. It wasn't attractive at all. Um, it was, it was ugly. So I haven't tried it since, although I have heard that they do have um, colored contacts now that are more like the film industry has so you could actually get those I don't know if I'm willing to try it again but gosh that would be really cool if I could have that deep black colored eyes if you guys could change your eye color what color would you go what is your natural color and then what color would you want to be if you could change it if it was if it was possible so that keeps this cut up if you guys want the June lettering challenge it's over on patreon Go ahead and download it, and then you can print it and put it in your journal. It's 30 days. July's will be out next week, so that you will have that to put in. I like that color. Uh, put it in your, your journal and have it ready to go. And then our watermelon tracker. Oh, make your bed. I am getting pretty good at that. I'm not the best, but sure. 64 ounces of water, yes, 500 words. Oh, I'm gonna have to look, hold on, because I need to do better at keeping this up. Maybe in July when I do the plan with me every single day, no, plan as you go, plan as you go every single day, it will be easier because what I'll do is I'll just update the Erin Condren that I have planned to do and then, um, as you go is what I was looking for goodness sakes update it as I go that way you guys know how things are are going along for life in general the goldfinch I haven't even read it yet oh so we're listening to an audio I'm so sorry you guys I just get so freaking sidetracked I get talking and then I'm like oh wait this is more important than what I was just saying I don't know why I chose that voice whatever um so at work, we started listening to Chelsea Handler's book, and I don't even know which one it is, but I am not lying to you. Uh, I am her long lost sister. There are so many things she says that I'm like, yep, uh, that's my life. I am I'm so much like her. 
and even my coworkers like April seriously uh do you hear all of this I'm like yes I hear all of this um it's been funny and it's been real it hasn't been real funny but it's been funny and it's been real so if you are a Chelsea Handler fan which I really don't know a whole lot about her other than this book that we're listening to during the day um definitely listen to it or read it I'm more of an audiobook kind of gal at work so that we have something in the background and fortunately Allison that I work with she's also into the background noise so it works out really really well um but yeah it's it's pretty it was pretty crazy she has a mouth on her meaning she swears like a sailor too so just be aware of that if you do decide to make that one of your Amazon audiobook purchases this month it is pretty good. Um, I think that'll do it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. I hope you have the most amazing day. Uh, whatever you decide to do, do it with love. I will see you soon. Bye.